viewers. So welcome to another session of the anatomy series. So today the topic of my discussion in continuation with the previous topic that is the scalp. So I was talking of the scalp in the previous video I have uploaded about the arterial supply of the scalp and today moving on to the venous drainage. So the topic again uh, the next topic in succession is the about the venous drainage of the scalp. So viewers, students over here, I would like to make it very simplified in the form of a diagram what I have made over here. So just begin with beginning with. So initially, I have already told you students that trochlear region is somewhat here. It lies somewhat above this, this point what I am touching. It refers to the trochlear point and just beside it, it is the orbital. So since the first point, the first vein that I'll be talking of the supratrochlear vein. So the supratrochlear and the supraorbital vein, they are lying just, they are, they are going to join and they are going to form, join, after joining they forms the angular vein. So initially the supratrochlear and the supraorbital vein, they are joining to form the angular vein. Now, this angular vein only, it continues in the form of, it continues as the facial vein. It continues in the form of the facial vein. So this facial vein continues. Alright, now moving on to the next thing that is the superficial temporal. So this was the temporal region. So I have already told you that in the human face, this region refers to the temporal region. So the superficial temporal and the maxillary vein, they are lying just in front of the ear. So the superficial temporal and the maxillary vein, they join to form the retromandibular vein. So students, the superficial temporal and the maxillary vein, they are going to join to form the retromandibular vein. All right. So this retromandibular vein, after continuing, it continues and splits into two divisions. That is the anterior division and the next is the posterior division. So this anterior division of the retromandibular vein is going to join with the facial vein. All right. So super, superficial temporal, the maxillary vein joins to form the retromandibular vein. The retromandibular vein is going to split into two parts. That is the anterior division and the posterior division. The anterior division is going to join with the facial vein. This was the facial vein. The angular vein continues as the facial vein over here. So the anterior division. So this is the anterior division of the retromandibular vein. So this anterior division is going to join with the facial vein to form the common facial vein over here. All right. So the facial vein, vein join, joins with the anterior division of the retromandibular vein to form the common facial vein, which further drains into the internal jugular vein. So this was one thing what I have, what is over. Now moving on to the posterior division. As already told you, the superficial temporal, the maxillary vein joined to form the retromandibular vein. The retromandibular vein splits into the anterior division and the posterior division. The posterior division is going, the posterior division of the retromandibular vein is going to join with the posterior auricular vein to form it is going to join the posterior division of the retromandibular vein to form the external jugular vein, which further drains into the subclavian vein. So students, this is all about the venous drainage of the scalp. In the coming upcoming videos, I'll be discussing about the lymphatic drainage and the lymph nodes of the scalp and the head and neck region. So viewers, stay connected. And if you do like my video, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.